to the breeze and goes to Amama Sahail. Right. Not shy with the with the new ball, Mlaba. She was given that um, that choice. In the oh, you know, will she push it through a little bit more here? Swept away. This will probably go all the way to the fence over this fast outfield here at Kingsmead. It just straight down the leg side. And Pakistan away with the boundary. Yeah, just here in there, just in, in line there. Second ball of the day from Lava. But really taken care of by Sahel. One of the features from Lava in the ODIs was how straight she wanted to bowl. And so she's got a 5 4 field, but. I'd almost have that that feel the behind square to the onside. There's nobody behind square. Ah, oh, now we're getting a change after the very first ball. So she's going to bowl to a 5-4 onside. She goes to Amaima Sahel. Oh, and she does her first up. Perfect delivery. It might have come off the inside edge, but it was a lovely length. Good line. Nip back a touch. And via the inside edge, it is cannon into middle stump. What a sight for Murray's on cap as that middle stump is removed. Amaima Sahel goes for 10. It's 10 for 1. Beautiful scene there by Marilyn Cup. But yes, definitely inside edge there by Sahel. And taking out middle stump. Sahel walking off 10 runs with 11 balls faced. A little bit. Shot for 4. Wow, that's excellent footwork. She shimmied up the pitch at touch and gave herself room and has timed that to perfection. There was Ali in the ODI series. <laughs> Moved her feet, shuffled down the track, a bit of width and really smacked it through that cover area. I go, it's about the intent. She looked scratchy and, and, and itchy at the top of the order in the ODI series. Yeah, it's just about back of length, but straight. No width. Slow ball and the variation works a trick. An absolutely brilliant piece of bowling by Ishmael. She's banged in three deliveries, short, in at the body. They've been quick deliveries. And then she decided, oh, I'm going to go for the change-up. And the change-up was the slow delivery, rolling her fingers across it. And brilliantly bowled, lands it in the perfect length, a little bit of purchase, and smashes into the middle stump. Yeah, I think she set it up brilliantly here. She's pushed it back with a few. And Zafar probably waiting for the one on the back foot and this just nice one properly. The snowball. Zafar's going to go. Pakistan 28 for two. To develop and have an understanding. Popped up in the air and that's the third wicket. Back of a length again. We've seen a lot of these deliveries. Used by the South African bowlers so far. And this one to good effect. Back of a length just tucking the batter up. Nahida Khan unable to free the arms and all she can do is pop it up in the air for an easy catch to Brits. Yeah, South Africa persisting with it hard back of the length. Nahida Khan this time around trying to hit it over mid wicket. But Full toss again and this one is hit hard down the ground and it will go for a boundary. Yabunga Kaka trying to make as much ground as possible, but unable to cut it off. And that's a nice strike. Just the fourth boundary of the day. Yeah, tossed up in this occasion. MT has taken full advantage of it. Got a nice shot down the ground. Full toss again, and this will be a repeat dose over mid-off this time, but uh, not the best over from Sunay Luz. Four full tosses and it goes for 12. Eight overs done, 45 for three. Goes to Maniba Ali Siddiqui. Could be is beautifully taken at mid on. It was a powerful strike, but Sinead Luce doesn't drop much. And went straight to her as well as it was hit by Maniba. The end of a useful hand from the diminutive left-hander. She goes for 21, it's 60 for four. Yeah, Maniba Ali, I don't think she can believe she actually did that. She was in a good position. The ball was a, such a good length ball, but her, her foot came out. Got a good connection, but unfortunately straight to the fielder there. Class gets her wicket. But unfortunately, Maniba Ali has to go. She's gone for 21. It's 60 for four.
And Riaz are in good touch, so back in to come. Up in the air, this could be taken. And it is comfortably in the end. That's a massive blow. Imtiaz was looking good with a 4 her 24. And now the fifth Pakistan wicket goes down. Yeah, I think Imtiaz on this occasion probably just feeling the pressure. And there's it, front of the hand, slow ball again. Good contact. Well caught in the deep by Brits. Empty is going to go. 24 23. Pakistan 75 5. What a brilliant start that is from Dar. As we mentioned in the ODR, she was superb. Her first delivery, she gets it away. Great start from her, Angelique. Very good start. It's obviously a start that uh, Pakistan, as you could hear, the captain sitting out today speaking about the experience of Dar. Are you surprised she's coming so late because she was in such good touch? She must have been so confident about the way she was playing in the ODRs. And look at the straight. The captain, you can't really say she didn't make a decision. Wow, that's brilliantly played. That's going to be back to back boundaries, just falling short of the rope. So that's eight from two from Nita Dar. And what a wonderful start from her. Striking at 400. Yes, he's up the up the end here. Great sweep shot. Gone for four again. You can almost sense that she's picking up to the urgency to score. Maybe up for her. Here's Marizan Cup into the 19th over. Smashed back overhead down the ground for four. That is a lovely piece of batting from Nassim. As straight as you like, a bold blow straight back over the umpire, splitting the two boundary riders. Great start to the 19th over. Oh man, to be young and fearless. Just have a look at this shot. Everything in it, using her feet. Beautiful strike and swiftly over that boundary. And she's doing it to the, one of the best bowlers in World T20 World. From the over. <laughs> Up in the air it goes, ground to be made. Beautifully taken. That is a super running catch by Shabnam Ismail. Cup's gone short and having been hit over the top wall off a good length. She's gone short tight in a seam and Shabna Mismal has made ground and taken an outstanding catch in the deep. But Nasim's fine little effort ends. She's out for 31. It's 118 for six. Yeah, the youngster came in really and she's 16 year old. Played a part, short ball. Halfway down the track, she took it on. Went to pull it over there on the leg side, but unfortunately got a run in in Shabna Mesma. A really top effort there by the youngster. But she has to go. She goes for a well played 31. It's 118 for six. Shabna Mesma, final over. Up in the air. Oh, her innings is going to end with a soft catch to third man. Came and went. Not enough of Aliyah Riaz for Pakistan. Ishmael gets the wicket and she goes for just a single. It's 120 for seven. This is why I want her out there a little bit longer. She, just to give her time to have a look. She's had to swing at the first two balls she's faced. Thick edge, third man up in the ring. Kaka won't drop that. Out for one. 120 for seven. 123 for seven Pakistan Diana Bay they'll run for all they're worth they have to come back for a second here no matter what the outcome can they get through for two Brits throws here's the shy and is that out there'll be a referral gee that was good fielding again from the outer from South Africa they had to go back for the second but off balance Brits has hurled it in not with a great deal of power but it's with a great deal of accuracy and I fancy Diana Bay may just be short yeah, I think she's just short uh, of the crease there, Brett. Let's see, it's good throw. And she's gone. Umpire Mignon Dupree in the background has given it out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Great piece of fielding from the deep. South Africa's out cricket has been significantly superior than any stage in the ODIs. But Dana Baig is the last one to go. She's run out for two. And 124 for eight. Oh, Pakistan.
So in the end, 124 for eight. They threatened to probably get around the 130, 135 they got, but from 32 for three inside, just outside the power play. They brilliantly placed. She just went with the shape of the delivery, opened the face, and that's the first boundary for South Africa. What a perfect start for Brits. Yeah, a bit short and wide there, but guided it through backward point there. Threaded it through the two fielders. Good, uh, knew, knew where the fielders were, and unfortunately, old, old tour field. That's brilliantly played. Just a little bit of width, slightly over pitch, but it was the width. As all Lee's eyes just lit up, thinking, okay, this is the kind of delivery I can go through the offside, and with the way it was pitched, meant she could go up and over. Yeah, this time tossed up a little bit, and there's all Lee. Over. In the air, over mid on. This one is going to might just get away to the fence. It has lower, flatter hit. That's a good finish to the over for Lazelle Lee and for South Africa. Nine from it. It's 33 for none. Boundaries in the power play. Pick the fielder out in the deep. Holds out. That's a dangerous Lee. Has hit it sweetly, but she's picked out the deep square leg. And Anwa gets her wicket. Nita Dar out in the deep has gone. I, I think she lost it. I actually think she lost it in the old stand away to the west and perhaps even into the setting sun. But Lizelle Lee has picked her out perfectly. And the first wicket goes in this fashion. Yeah, Nita Dar looked a bit surprised to have taken those in the hands there. So you see, just see the reaction. Just, just lost it there on, a, on the way down. But she's taken it and Lee is gone. One for 22. 22 from 23 balls. 38 for one. That's not an inventive shot. Brilliantly played by Brits. Fully aware of where the field was. It was square. And not only is it brilliantly played, it's made its way to the fence. Yeah, Brits on this occasion improvising with the reverse lap. Very well played. Beating the fielder to the boundary as well. For runs. Yeah, that's brilliant. Play. You just drift into the hitting zone. That's not a great start. That is really easy pickings. Definitely not what Pakistan were after. Change of bowler, looking for a change of pace. But unfortunately not backed up with the skills. Yeah, on this occasion, that's a risk-free shot. Freebie in many ways. And well played, Marizan Cup. Yeah, it is well played because as much as this is a freebie, sometimes you can... South Africa. Just had the 30. Oh, it's a miss stumping. That was the opportunity maybe for Pakistan just to do something. Oh, snuck through and hits Marizan Cup again. She's waiting for another review. Marizan Cup certainly giving the match officials something uh, to earn their money uh, today. It's actually a swift take down the leg side there by uh, by Ali. I just will have to check whether she took it clearly. No problem with the front foot. That's all good. And we're well behind the line. Bowling coaches will be absolutely happy with that from every bowler in their team. I think there's a little fumble. That's what took the time oh but she does recover brilliantly well done Ali absolutely brilliant she wouldn't have been happy if the ball popped out but it was all about the recovery and she's done a brilliant job of getting that back onto the stumps for the second wicket and there's the signal it's out so they have lost their second and is this the opportunity for Pakistan to turn things on their head yeah, Ali there really didn't take it cleanly, but she, she made up for that and, and quickly got her runs through to uh, to break those stumps. Marizan Cap not happy with herself. Yeah, it's a slow ball on this occasion. Collected it quite nicely on the second grab. Fumble to there. And into the quite, quite nicely. Cup's got to go. 
South Africa, 102 foot, 107 for two. Stage, just a good contact bat on ball and down the ground. And that brings up her 50. Everyone in the, the dressing room and the dugout stands up and applauds. It has been a really good knock. She limited chances in the ODR series, but now at the top of the order, given the responsibility to go and play in this T20s. And she's answered that call. 51 deliveries, three fours. A very good effort. Takes on the quick single and comfortably home. And that will bring up the victory for South Africa with an over to spare. And they've been really good. They lost the toss and Pakistan have won four tosses on this tour so far, but uh, haven't been able to go in and win a match. This time, Pakistan decided to have a bat first. And they only put up 124 on the board. And Brits has been the key in the run chase, chasing it down in the 19 overs. South Africa, plenty of success so far here at Kingsmead over the last 10 days. And another example of some quality cricket coming out on top. Yeah, the first, first bumps between the two teams.